Hi, hello, welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing really well. Today I'm bringing you some new air fryer recipes. These are so flavorful. They're perfect if you're not wanting to spend too long in the kitchen and if you're trying to increase your protein intake at the moment and just eat in a more balanced way in terms of filling each meal with protein, carbs and fats, then these will be perfect for you. Super easy to make and take under 15 minutes per recipe. You could do me one favor and hit the like button. It really helps and supports my channel and we'll jump into it. So our first recipe is a Cajun salmon pasta. This is creamy, oh, it's just delicious. I'll show you what we need. Okay, so for seasonings, we are going to need paprika, parsley, crushed chilies, chilies? <laughs> Crushed chilies, Cajun seasoning, oregano. I don't know why I've got two Cajun seasoning there. I need to top these up. And here are the ingredients that we'll need. So, some extra virgin olive oil. I really like these spray bottles, just makes it a lot easier and you don't end up dolloping too much olive oil that way. Easy as well for when you're tracking your macros. Uh, some coconut aminos for our sauce. I prefer using this. This is an alternative to soy sauce to use in marinades. I get this off Amazon. One tomato, some coriander, lightest Philadelphia two salmon fillets, some spaghetti, I got the gluten-free spaghetti, some tomato puree, some butter, one whole red onion and some garlic. You could also use lazy garlic, some extra mature cheese. Right, let's start by seasoning our salmon fillets. I'll pop all my seasons in first and then add the salmon. Teaspoon of paprika, two teaspoons of Cajun seasoning, teaspoon of oregano, I use oregano on absolutely everything. Our oregano actually has so many um, health benefits, like reducing inflammation. Teaspoon of parsley, half a teaspoon of crushed chilies, a tablespoon of tomato puree, and then about 20 grams of coconut aminos, so three or four tablespoons, two crushed garlics. Give that a little mix together make sure these are nice and coated. Left them to marinate for a few minutes. I'm just gonna take my air fryer. If you're not already using these little baking paper things, they're super handy and just save on having to do so much washing up. So I literally just pop that in. I'm washing up as I go today and just tidying as I go because it makes it a bit easier. So into the air fryer, the salmon goes on 200 degrees for about 10 minutes. I like mine a little bit crispy. I've just chopped 12 grams of butter here and then I'm gonna chop my tomato and red onion. So dice one whole onion. Pick the coriander off the stems. And then whilst the salmon is cooking, we're gonna take the other side of the air fryer or you could just wait and swap, for, uh, take the salmon out and use the same side if you've not got two compartments. And just slide in all of this. I'm sliding in my butter. You could melt the butter first if you want to. I just think it's easy enough to put it all into the air fryer. Two tablespoons of cream cheese, this light Philadelphia one. So 74 grams. Keep that a little mix around for about 10 minutes on 200 degrees. So I've just measured out 130 grams of dry pasta. That's how I usually like to measure it if I'm um, working out my macros. And then I've just added it to salted water. Just follow the instructions on whatever pasta you're using. I'm just gonna add a dash of milk and also this is my pasta water. This is such a good hack if you want to make something a bit creamy. So I'm just gonna add about six tablespoons of the pasta water. And then just pour the drained pasta in with the sauce, the cooked salmon. So I'm literally just gonna break this off. And then I've just got some grated 
cheese. Gonna pop this back in just to melt. look delicious. I just sliced some fresh lime, I think this goes really well uh, with salmon, and just a little bit more chopped parsley. So here is my first recipe, Cajun salmon pasta. This is so good, packed with flavour, creamy goodness, high in omega-3, lots of nutrients in there. So my next recipe is a crispy chili chicken wrap. This is crunchy, it's easy to make, perfect for lunch or dinner or even meal prep. You could pop this into a meal prep container and take it with you to work. And a bit of a Chinese kind of vibe this reminds me of. I'll show you what you'll need. So for this, you're going to need some char grilled wraps here. Seasonings, we're gonna need garlic granules, onion powder, smoked paprika. I'm using a Chinese five spice. And then I'm using some oats for the crunch. Then some iceberg lettuce. I'm using three chicken breasts two eggs, a lemon, and then for our sauce, uh, sriracha hot chili sauce, coconut aminos, again, that's like a substitute for soy sauce, uh, sesame seeds, light mayo, rice vinegar, and some honey. Okay, so just gonna start by chopping up my three chicken breasts. I'm just gonna season this with some smoked paprika. Chinese five spice a little bit of onion powder, garlic granules. I think if I had to live off one seasoning for the rest of my life, it would probably be smoked paprika. And just give that chicken a little spray of olive oil. In this little bowl here, I'm just gonna beat two eggs. So I used to use cornflakes to make chicken crispy, but then I looked at what's actually in cornflakes and I just, I'd prefer to use oats, not as much processed stuff. Now it's not about when it comes to avoiding processed foods, obviously it'd be very difficult to eliminate all processed foods, but just where you can, making small changes, swap some changes that uh, make a difference and just keep your gut a little bit healthier. I'm measuring out 60 grams of oats into a blender. I'm just gonna use the same seasons that I use for my chicken. Onion powder, smoked paprika, Chinese spice, garlic. You just never have too much garlic, can you? And you're like, and a whiz, 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 whiz. So, chicken, egg wash, dippity dip. There we go. I don't know why I end up using my fingers when I've got a fork right here. Look at this finger, it just wants to come out and touch the raw chicken. Right. If you've only got one air fry drawer, just batch it as in do one at a time. But I've got this second one here. Just rather than overloading one tray, it just makes sense to spread it so they cook more evenly and don't end up going all soggy. You could also do this in the oven, but I really feel like the air fryer thrives with creating nice crispy recipes. Excuse my fingers. Just whilst I've been filming this, I had a pheasant in the garden actually, which has been quite nice. I feel like it needs a name. I don't know if it's him or his girlfriend uh, that come like really similar time each day. What are your thoughts as well? I might do a whole series on air fryer recipes if you would like to see that. Into the air fryer these go. So they take about 15 to 19 minutes and then we just flip them halfway through. I'm just gonna give them a little spritz of this extra virgin olive oil. Once they're flipped, pop them back in. This reminds me of, you know when you fly on a plane and you both want to watch a film at the same time, like trying to do it at the exact same minute. Then at about five minutes, we're gonna take these out and dip them in our sauce. Now for our honey sauce. Look how big this lemon is, a squeeze half of lemon juice three tablespoons of coconut aminos 
one tablespoon of sirach, one tablespoon of rice vinegar, half a tablespoon of honey. And then, oh God. And then I break my camera. So this part, you could either pour the sauce in or just take them for a little, a quick dip. Just pop them in. Three and about 10 grams of light mayonnaise in each. Da -da -da. Look how nice they look. Just thought I'd give you a close up. Look at that. You would just never believe that that is from oats as well. Like you don't always need to use cereal. It's like chicken. Chicken nuggets. This is yogurt and sriracha instead of mayonnaise. Then I chopped up a little bit of spring onion. Now we've got a little bit of roasted black sesame seeds. Okay, my mic had stopped working at this point, but here is the next recipe, which is my hot honey pasta. This has got 52 grams of protein, 457 calories, and is a single serve. So perfect if you're having a date night in with yourself, or if you want to make it for two people, simply just double up the recipe. We are going to need one large chicken breast, some sriracha, a red onion or white onion, some garlic granules or garlic cloves, smoked paprika, a red pepper, some honey, some Philadelphia or any light cream cheese, some tomato puree and pasta of choice. You want to start by chopping up your chicken breast, coating that with some sriracha, hot sauce, some smoked paprika, two garlic cloves or garlic granules, popping that in the air fryer at 180 to 190 degrees for 15 minutes and then cho chopping up a red pepper. I feel like red pepper is just the elite of mixed peppers. It seems to be the sweetest as well. And also chopping up half a red onion, spraying some oil in a pan. I use extra virgin oil and just letting my veg soften and then cooking 80 grams of dry pasta, adding the same seasonings to my red pepper and onion which was paprika and some garlic granules and then add in 10 grams of honey 26 grams of cream cheese which is about half a tea tablespoon then add in five grams of tomato puree about half a tablespoon and add in a drop of water i should have just used the water from the pasta water so i added a bit of both i find this just creates a creamy consistency and means you don't have to add more cream or cream cheese as such letting that simmer and then draining the pasta popping that into the pan and giving that a mix around before adding grated cheese, parsley, chili flakes, chili flakes, chili flakes, and the cooked chicken from the air fryer. What I love about this is how much volume you get with this meal. It's been perfect as I've been running a lot more and I've been craving all the carbs. I also like to serve it with a slice of lime, which is super delicious. This is also perfect for meal prep for the next day. It's nice, hot and cold. Okay, now to taste test. I was pretty much eating this as I was making it, to be quite honest. I feel like I need to get out of that habit. Like, I always end up munching away. But obviously, you've got to make sure that it's got the right amount of seasoning on. And that's the only way you're going to know. Next up is testing the salmon pasta. This one's super creamy. And I know it's going to be so hard to pick an actual favourite out of this video because all of them are so good. And it's nice to have a bit of a difference. Like, rather than just doing the same pasta, it's quite nice having linguine style. Then the crispy chicken chilli wrap. I was desperate to have a bite into. This one reminds me so much of the McDonald's chicken crispy wrap. And is the quickest out of all the recipes because it's literally just the chicken all of these are so so good i recommend to make all of them remember to tag me on instagram on your recreations so i can reshare and also let me know which is your favorite 
These are all perfect as well. You could meal prep these, batch cook them, pop them in the fridge or store them in the freezer and then defrost and reheat. I have more entries on my Instagram, which I will leave on the screen. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I've given you some good air fryer recipes to give a go. I don't think there's anything that I wouldn't put in my air fryer at this point. Just saves so much time, is super quick and efficient and perfect if you're trying to increase your protein intake and hit your protein goals. Makes things a lot easier but yeah thank you for making it this far and i can't wait to see you in the next video if you haven't already i'd love to stick around by subscribing to my channel and joining the fam and i'll see you in the next one